Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Eptech Knowledge. So in the previous tutorial, we added the category from this page and in this tutorial, we are going to show all the category over here and we will also have a delete option so that the admin can delete the category if admin like to a spelling mistake when adding the category. So first of all, we are going to show all the category over here. So for it, let's go back to our code and directly we will go to directly resource, then views, then uh, inside views you can see admin and here you can see category.blade.php so over here you can see the add category part here you can see the uh, add category button uh, which is this one and uh, this form is actually uh, this part over here you can see so after after this form you can see a div so after this div we are going to mention a table over here uh, in this table, we are going to show all the category data. So inside this table, let's say first TR, TR means table row and inside this table row, we'll say TD and let's say uh, here, we'll say category name and we'll have another TD uh, for action. I mean, uh, we'll, we'll have a delayed option for, uh, for the category. So if we now save it, then if we now refresh, uh, here you can see category name and action over here so let's make it look like a table uh, so let's go back to our code and here in this table uh, let's just tick a class let's say class center uh, we'll have our table in the center so let's save it control s and now uh, we are going to write the css for this center class so let's go at the top and here you can see style so inside this style we are going to say dot center and then we'll say so we'll say margin uh, it will be auto uh, auto means it will make the table in the center then let's also mention the width for the table and let's say the table width will be 15 percent then we'll say text align it will be center so if you now save it then if you now refresh here here you can see uh, it is over here like this so let's just make some gap over here and also have a line for this table uh, there is actually a line but the line color is also black that's why we cannot see so here in the center we're going to say a uh, margin top margin top let's say it will be 30 px and let's say border and it means the border color and uh, we'll say uh, 3px solid solid green let's say so right now if you save it then if we now refresh here here you can see our category like this so let's just have a dummy data over here so for it uh, we'll just go down and here after this tr let's just men mention another tr inside this tr we'll say td td means table data so uh, let's just give only single data and let's see how our table looks Control V and here let's say category name it will be let's say toys and here in this TD you can see action so in this TD we are going to mention a delete button so uh, in order to create a delete button we will give a anchor tag and inside this anchor tag we will say here D-E-L-E-T delete okay let's just write it like this so that you can see it clearly and we will also have a uh, class for this anchor tag and it will be btn btn uh, danger so right now if we save it then if we refresh here here you can see our table looks like this right now so this is how it looks i think it looks fine and so i think this table color i think white will look great so let's just go at the top and here 3x solid green instead of green we'll say white let's now save it and let's now refresh okay this looks better i think so right now we are going to show uh, all the category data from the table over here you can see category table this one so we are going to show all the data from the table over here uh, so for it let's go back to our code and we'll just directly go to our uh, controller where we are returning this category.blade.php view so we'll go to our app then http then controller and here you can see admin controller so in this admin controller uh, from this admin controller we are returning the category view here you can see admin dot category and in this admin folder uh, there is category blade dot php so uh, return view admin dot category so here first of all we will get all the data category data from the table and then send it to the view so for it uh, that is actually really simple we already add 
use app backslash models backslash category at the top so using this we will be able to get all the category data over here so you can see public function view category uh, in this we are going to declare a variable let's say dollar data equal to we will uh, mention this category table name so we will say here category this double clone all and then to first bracket after that we are going to uh, here you can see return view admin dot category so here we are going to give a comma and we will say compact and in this to first bracket we will give to single quotation and here you can see data we are going to use write this data over here so we will say data so what will happen is that uh, here we are mentioning dollar data variable so we first of all getting all the data from the category table using this category model then we are uh, storing all the category data in this dollar data variable and then we are sending this all the category data to this view admin dot category so right now what we have to do is that we need to catch this data from this uh, in our uh, category blade view so here you can see category name and action so here you can see the tr where we want to show all the category data so what we are going to do is that uh, we are going to mention a for each loop before this tr you can see this tr inside this tr we have toys so uh, before this tr we are going to mention at the rate of for each then we'll say dollar data as dollar data and this dollar data is coming from x uh, admin controller okay from here and we also need to in this for each loop and we'll in this for each loop after this tr so we'll say here at the rate of int for each so right now what we are going to do is that uh, we will print all the category name in this td so uh, let me just show you the database and here you can see this is our category table here you can see categories and here you can see the shirt toy laptop and mobile so we are going to get this category name here you can see the name is category underscore name category underscore name so what we are going to do is that let me just remove this toy and we'll give two second bracket then we'll mention this dollar data we'll say dollar data then this arrow sign then we'll say category underscore name just exactly we write in the database over here so right now if we now save it and if we now refresh here you can see shirt toy laptop and mobile just like in the database and for every shirt we have delete button because all this delete button is inside this for each loop so for every data we'll have a delete button so i hope this is clear so right now let's do the delete part over here so what we want is that if someone click on this delete button then it will delete that specific data or specific category name from here so for it first of all uh, when someone click this delete button we will get the id for this specific category name so for it that is actually really simple here you can see we mentioned a href in this anchor tag so inside this href we will give two second bracket then inside this second bracket we are going to mention url to first bracket to single quotation and let's say here delete underscore category and over here we are going to send the id for the specific data so here uh, you can see that we can get the category name using this dollar data so in the same way we can also uh, get the id using this dollar data so we'll just give a comma then we'll give dollar data this arrow sign will say id so right now here you can see dollar data id this will come from the database here you can see id every category name has a id so right now if we now save it and if we now refresh here and if we take our cursor over here just notice on the left side over here you will see on and here if i take my cursor over here you will see four just over here you will notice a id and you can now see three so we are now uh, able to get all the id successfully so right now we will catch this id in the in, in our route then in our controller as well so let's go to our route here you can see routes then we'll go to our web.php 
and here we are going to write a route so let me just copy this one control c and control v and here you can see that our url name is delete category so let me just copy this one and we'll paste it over here delete category and let's say our in the admin controller the function name will be delete category as well delete underscore category so right now let's save it control s and we'll now go to our admin controller and write this delete category function we'll go to admin controller and let me just go a little down and here we are going to say public function delete category we'll give two first bracket and we'll give two second bracket and here you can see a first bracket and inside this first bracket we're going to mention the id and in the web.php uh, we mentioned the url name but we did not mention this dollar i mean this do, uh, dollar data id so for it all we have to do is that we'll give a slash and we'll give two second bracket and inside it we'll just say id so what will happen is that if someone click the delete button it will send this dollar data id to our delete category uh, route uh, which is this one so it will cache the id and then this id will be sent to our delete category function in the admin controller which is this one so here we'll say dollar id now the deleting part is actually really simple now first of all you need to make sure that you add the category model at the top then here we'll just declare a variable let's say again dollar data equal to we'll say category double clone we'll say find to first bracket and inside it we'll say id and before this id we need to mention a dollar sign so after this here we'll just say dollar data delete T E L E T delete to first bracket and after this we'll just say return redirect return redirect back so everything should be fine right now so let's save it and let's just refresh here and first of all let's just add a random things over here let's click add category and if we now click on the delete button here you can see it reloading and the data is deleted now uh, what may happen is that sometime uh, some people may accidentally click this delete button so that's that's a problem so what we are going to do is that if someone click on this delete button then our browser will show us something that are you sure to delete this and if you click ok then the data will be deleted so delete confirmation is actually really simple so for it we need to go to our view we'll go to our category.bread.php and here you can see our anchor tag for delete so here we are just going to say on click equal to we'll say return return confirm we'll give two first bracket and two single quotation and inside the inside this we'll say are you sure to delete this and right now if we save it control s and if you now refresh here and if you just click on this let's say this one and here you can see it uh, saying us that are you sure to delete this and if you click ok it will delete this data and if you click cancel it don't delete anything so let's just add a random things and just click over here add category then we'll click delete and then click ok and here you go that data is deleted so after deleting the data we'll also let's say show a message that the data is deleted so that is actually really simple i will already show you in the previous tutorial so i'm just going to copy that part so here you can see that we have a session message part over here here you can see if session has message and we are showing the session message over here you can see so you can see over here has message uh, this session message so we don't have to write this part again uh, if we just use the same variable which is message if you use different variable uh, except message then we need to have uh, or write this session part again so we are going to use this message uh, variable again so for it here we'll go to our admin controller and uh, here you can see that for add category we write return redirect back with message uh, category added successfully we are just basically going to do the same we are just going to give over here this arrow sign we'll say with uh, two first bracket and here we'll say message then we'll give a comma over here 
then we'll give two single quotation and this time we'll say uh, let's say category deleted uh, successfully so here you will notice that we uh, use the same message over here so that is why we do not have to write uh, another session for showing the message let's say if you write let's say something else let's say delete or something then you have to create a uh, session for that certain delete message over here okay so that's why we are uh, using this message part so right now let's save everywhere and if you now refresh here and let's add a data add category then we'll click on this delete button and if we click ok here you can see category deleted successfully message so this is all about this tutorial so in the next tutorial we'll uh, add the product part over here in the sidebar and we'll create a table for our product and we'll upload our product in the table so for now this is everything for this tutorial and i hope this tutorial is easy for you and if you have any question you can always let me know in the comment section or you can also mail me as well so thanks for watching and i'll actually really appreciate if you subscribe my channel so stay tuned and stay healthy